Hello, hello, Key Stage 1, let's get ready to have some fun. We're going to read a story today, it's one of my favourites because it's so great. It is Friday the 10th of July and a special hello to the lovely, fantastic gorillas. Uh, this was our story in the live session um, and it is called Hector and the Big Bad Night by Alex T. Smith. This is one of my favourite books um, because the the words, the vocabulary, the words that he uses are quite funny. Um, when you listen to it, when you when you hear it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, especially on this first page here. Now here we go. The tiny village of Spotty Bottom was a lovely place to live. Yes, you did hear that right. Everyone knew everyone and nothing bothersome ever happened. That was until the day Hector's granny had her magic wand stolen by the big bad knight. Oh, oh my. Swipe. Dun, dun, dun. And the big bad knight laughed. Ha, 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 ha. You'll never catch me on the biggest, baddest night you ever did see. And he galloped away with Granny's magic wand. How horrible. I mean, I can't believe somebody would do something like that. I mean, honestly, it's just a bit rude. Don't worry, Granny, said Hector. I'll get a wand back for you. All the villagers laughed. You, they giggled. But you're tiny and small, and your spindly arms have no muscles at all. But Hector had a plan. He also had a chicken, but more importantly, he had a plan. So no fear. He packed a hanky with useful things and set off with his friend Norman to rescue the magic wand. Norm he, so what he had was, what he packed was Norman's crisps, a pair of scissors, and an umbrella. Very useful things, especially the crisps. Just wait and see. It wasn't long before they came to the forest. The deep, dark forest. Oh, by the way, this here, this is Norman. He's the chicken. The chicken sidekick, if you will. And in the deep, dark forest, the big bad knight stopped and twirled Granny's wand. With a sprinkle of magic, giant thorny weeds sprang up. You'll never climb that. It's tangly and tall. And as we know, you're tiny and small. Let me just show you this bit. But Hector had a plan. He also had a chicken. But more importantly, he had a plan. What do you think he might use from his very useful things? Might he use... The crisps, the umbrella, or the pair of scissors have a little prediction there. What do you think he might use to try and get himself out of this mess? Hmm? Let's see. Ah, here we go. With a snip, snip, snip of his scissors, Hector and Norman were free. Uh-oh, squeak the big bad knight. And he trotted off to the moat. The dark, dingy moat. So if you said scissors before to cut the thorns, well done. And the dark, dingy moat. And at the dark, dingy moat, the big bad knight stopped and twirled Granny's magic wand. With a sprinkle of magic, the drawbridge disappeared. The big bad knight chuckled. You'll never cross this moat, not even with a leap. You'll end up in the water, dangerous and deep. There we go. Oh, another dilemma that Hector has to get through. But Hector had a plan. And he also had a chicken, but more importantly, he had an umbrella, which helped him cross the moat. Oh, oh groaned the big bad knight. And he clip-clopped away up the castle tower, the terribly tall tower. Hector.
Victor and Norman followed. Up on the roof of the terribly tall tower, a bit of alliteration there, t -t -t terribly tall tower, the big bad knight hollered, well, you've got this far, but you'll never trick me. I'm a super clever knight. Just you wait and see. And he stopped and he twirled Granny's wand. With a sprinkle of magic, he turned his horse into a... Time for a prediction. What do you think his horse turned into? Have a think, have a go. Could be anything. Uh dragon a humongous hungry dragon ah oh my and the big bad knight giggled this puckish beast will eat you in a flash you should run away quick make a dash oh my i mean this dragon means business look how humongous enormous he is good grief serious business here. But the dragon had a plan. He didn't have a chicken, but he had a plan. Eat Hector up? He'd hardly be a bite. So I think instead I'll gobble the big bad knight. Which is a quite a ferocious plan. Hector leapt into action. He threw Norman's crisps to the dragon and grabbed the magic wand back with a swipe. And as you can see, the dragon's quite distracted by the crisps. Ooh, lovely, yes. Salt and vinegar, yum, yum. Not my favorite. I would prefer cheese and onion, but if the dragon likes salt and vinegar, then hey, that's great. Back in Spotty Bottom, you did hear that right. Hector's granny hooted. Three cheers for Hector, who's tiny and small. He got my wand back for me. He's the bravest of all. But Granny wasn't sure what to do with the big bad knight. He'd been very naughty and needed to learn a lesson. Luckily, Hector had a plan. A very stinky plan. And as you can see, He's scooping up what's labelled here as dragon poop. So, I hope you enjoyed that story, Key Stage 1, and I'll see you again next week. Bye!